the Ducks can go in on the four check. Zegras pops it into the middle of the ice, unable to skate into it, however. It was Troy Terry who will collect it back in his own end. He gathers it in and away through center. Terry into the Vegas zone on right wing. Hits the brakes, looking for a trailer. Sneaks it through. Henry. Oh, trying to go back. Got his own rebound on the other side and scores. The goaltender Hill in the chest. And then Miramanov is a little bit slow, clearing that puck out of harm's way. And in sneaks Henrik from behind the goal to just swat it home a foot from the goal line. Great start for the Ducks. They get some good pressure early on on Aiden Hill. And they benefit from a good bounce off of the defenseman. Smith out high. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson stick handles. First penalty is over to McTavish. Tries to get it down low. Lively rebound is picked up by Fowler, who hoists it the length of the ice. Aiden Hill last season played in a career high 25 games with the San Jose Sharks. He watches Henrique and he scores! Second of the game for Adam Henrique from way outside. That was like a three pointer. Henrique just took full advantage. Here's the blast from Henrique from the middle. A little bit of a screen, I, I think, by Petrangelo there, but from that distance, Hill unable to track that puck. And it's just inside the post. What a shot by Adam Henrique. And we got a goaltending change from Bruce Cassidy. Two and goals on five shots given up by Aiden Hill. Anaheim was 0 for 2 in that loss at Vegas with the extra man, and they cough one up. Look out, here comes Stone shorthanded. Mark Stone in on Gibson, cuts back and scores. A league leading seventh shorthanded goal of the year for the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, he throws it back towards his partner, who's only five feet away, Kevin Shattenkirk. There's no way that that was going to work out. Puts his partner in a tough position. In goes Stone, and boy, that long reach. What a weapon it has always been for Mark Stone. For Stone now, 25 points in 25 career games against the Ducks. Not as bad since he played the full game last night in L.A. So he, he should still be feeling pretty comfortable, I would say. Zegers gets it on net, short side. Thompson having trouble finding it in his equipment, and he'll get the whistle. For the Ducks, he went right by Trevor Zegers, and now is just one behind Troy Terry. And Anaheim has a 2 1 lead as we begin. Signed for the exact same AAV as his previous contract, which had been five years in length. Now it's Stone right on the doorstep. Dorofia got a couple of cracks at it. Gibson keeps it out. Threw on the brakes in a hurry and got that stick. Led with the stick and disrupted the bid. By Mason McTavish. Turnover in the neutral zone. It's Kessel the other way, trying to quick shoot and go five hole on Gibson. And he closed the wickets. He blocks that shot in last night's game against the Kings. And a guy that blocks that many stays in a lot of games when he's hurt. Here's Riley Smith, robbed in front by Gibson. Wow, what a stop. What a stop by John Gibson. The doorstep, and then there's a change of direction. Watch him pull this puck across the goal crease here and Gibson stays right with him gets that glove hand nice and high and is able to handle the rebound at the end of this there's going to be a cross checking penalty here called and uh, Vegas will head back to the power play it was Ron Berg down to Smith what a stop by Gibson and he's able to smother that re rims it around for Kessel. Out of the box, Zegras, who joins the penalty kill. They walk it from behind the net. It comes to Dorothy. Oh, wow. What a glove save by John Gibson. In this game tonight, Mark Stone gets that puck across to Dorothy, and he thinks he's got a wide open net. Look at the glove of Gibson. Gets it across just in the nick of time. That is just a magnificent save. And now puck battle finally controlled by Vegas, and they'll try the left side of the zone. Kessel on the doorstep for one great left pad save by Gibson. He stretched the leg out, kept it out, but Miramanov keeps the puck in the zone. Kessel tries again, and Gibson with another stop. And now numbers for the Golden Knights. Amadio chips it ahead, and Kessel gets it back to him. Michael Amadio riding a four-game scoring streak, swings it around, and it's Hutton who comes off the boards and got a backhander right on net. Gibson makes the save, rebound, score! Nicholas Y in front has tied the game. Anaheim did 
just guilty of not managing the puck. Is just allowed to walk right into the middle of the rink. Gibson makes one save. The Ducks can't clear it. They get a bad oh. bounce off the right skate of Earl Vakanainen. Hutton just throws it back into the crowd and gets a bounce. But that's what happens when you continue to funnel pucks to the front of the opposing net. Sometimes good things happen, and that is now 30 shots on goal. Has not unfolded the way that obviously the coach would want it to. Keep in mind the Golden Knights now on the back end of back to backs. So Kolasar both crashing the net there. Kolasar feeds it back to the point. Petrangelo keeps it in. So the Golden Knights pick up right where they left off. And on the doorstep, it's Carrier smothered. Former second round pick of the Ducks able to jam it back to the line. Bahal with a high shot. Oh, went straight up in the air. Looked like it was going to land behind Gibson as Benoit ended up behind his netminder. Terry right through the crease. McTavish, a bangle shot saved once and then a second time by Thompson. That is impressive. He's going to get a little more ice time here as William Carlson wins the draw and the Golden Knights with the all important possession to begin overtime. Petrangelo watched by Terry. Strom has two game winners in overtime this season. Zegras takes the shot. Thompson got the glove on it and it stays in the barn off the high glass off Petrangelo's stick. He's dead tired. Zegras fires. Excuse me. It's Petrano and a big save by Thompson and a bigger freeze by the netminder. Back to Fowler. Henrique parked at the top of the crease. Fowler shot saved by Thompson. The rebound knocked away from Henrique, but kept by Zegras. Stevenson will oppose him. They tie one another up. McNabb clears the horn sounds, and we're not done yet at Honda Center. No, that's too bad. I mean, four on three power play. Four you want at a, the end of overtime. What an opportunity to get that game winner. Big opportunity for Troy Terry here. And he'll swing in off the left side. Way out is Thompson. And he sneaks it through him. Remember what we said about Thompson. When you stand on your feet, look at that five hole. And that's what Troy Terry targets. He gets a little piece. On a save tonight by John Gibson, who had 49 of them in regulation in overtime and already has one in the shootout. It's up to Riley Smith. And Gibson denies and gets a well-deserved victory in the shootout. 3-2 over the Golden Knights. It was absolutely sensational in this game. Brilliant goaltending performance from Gibson. He is mobbed. As he earned this one tonight, 49 saves in regulation and overtime. Two stops in the shootout. The Ducks win 3-2.